Hey guys, it's Joe with Pocket Now, and this phone, the HTC Desire S, is running Android Gingerbread, that's 2.3, with HTC Sense UI version 2.1. This phone, the T-Mobile G2 that I've got Cyanogen Mod 7 on, is not running HTC Sense, but with the new 3 version out, some people call that 3.0, others call it HTC Sense 3D, Let's see what happens when we try and put Sense 3D onto the G2. Let's go take a look. Okay, first of all, this ROM is very, very experimental. It's not even the right resolution, all kinds of fun stuff, but I haven't seen it yet, you haven't seen it yet, so let's go ahead and look and see what it's like. So the steps we need, I've fired up ROM Manager Premium over here, and what I'm going to do is install a ROM from SD card. I've already downloaded it to this device, so it should be over here in the download folder. And there it is, RMK ROM Vision Sensation, yada yada yada. We'll select that, we'll say OK, that's the one that I want. I do want to back up my existing ROM just in case something goes awry, and I do need to wipe data and cache, otherwise this is going to blow up all over the place. So two very important steps. Say OK to that. It gives us a warning saying, you know, this is your last chance to back out. Do you want to do that? Well, I want to go ahead and continue. So we'll say OK. It's going to reboot me into my recovery image, which in this case is Clockwork Mod Recovery. And from there, it's going to go ahead and run all of those different tasks that I just told it to. That's probably going to take about 5 or 10 minutes. So to save you that agony, I'm going to go ahead and shoot that off camera. So when we come back, we'll get the first boot and see exactly what this is going to look like. All right, and here we go. This is the first boot screen that we've got. You can clearly see the HTC Confidential, so I hope this isn't getting anybody in trouble. We've got our traditional... Uh, tab to unlock, so we'll go ahead and unlock that. Got our HTC screen there again. Now if you want to try this yourself on your own T-Mobile G2 or HTC Desire Z, head on over to pocketnow.com and I will have a link to the, uh, the XDA thread where you can go and grab the ROM for this. Uh, as long as the ROM is still up, you can go ahead and do it. As soon as they take the ROM down, well that's... Uh, we're not going to mirror it or host it or anything for you. So, now with most HTC Sense ROMs, you'll have an initial setup where it basically launches a, a setup wizard to walk you through the rest of the process, configuring your username and password and whatnot. So, I believe that's what it's doing right here. We're going to go ahead and let that continue and be right back. Okay, so here we are at the language selector screen, and I'm going to go ahead and choose English Singapore because that's... I only went to Singapore once, and they spoke English there. I'm not going to transfer my stuff, so we're going to skip that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and say uh, mobile network or Wi-Fi. So, so far, the setup process is pretty much the same as what we'd see in any HTC Sense ROM. We'll go ahead and automatically sync data. We want to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi, so I'll do that off-camera. So I've done that, and you can see my green check mark there. Now one thing I noticed while I was doing it, this watermark, this HTC Confidential watermark, is laid on top of everything. So uh, every screen that you see is going to have that on top of it, and I don't know if there's any way that we can get that off. We're going to go ahead and use location. Just like we've seen before, we're going to agree to let them do that. Uh, I'm not going to set up any accounts right well, you know what, let's go ahead and do that just so we can go through the process like we normally do. Set up my normal uh, Gmail account. Okay, so we put in the username and password, and I don't necessarily want to keep this device backed up. If this were a normal phone that I'd be doing, I'd keep that check mark, but because this is just kind of a demo of an experimental ROM, I want to uncheck that so it doesn't sync what I do here up with, uh, with Google. So i got a green check on my Google account. I'm not going to do any of the others. We'll just go ahead and hit next. And yeah, let's go ahead. No, you know, because this is a pre-release ROM, um, I don't necessarily want to do that. So we, we uncheck the HTC uh, anonymous collection. We'll go ahead and finish that. 
Okay, the first thing you're going to notice is uh, it's gone ahead and pulled in my wallpaper from my previous device, but you'll also notice, look over here on the side, see how everything is kind of scrunched up to the right side of the device. In fact, it's cutting off half of market and half of camera, um, which isn't really all that cool. Well, the reason for that is uh, this ROM is built for a different resolution device. And it's not just pixel density, uh, you know, it's actually the size of the device, so I can't go in and sh shrink it and make it any smaller by anything that uh, is user controllable. Uh, that's something they may be able to do in future versions of this ROM, but for now it's just going to, uh, and we're going to have to live with it. Now, that's not a problem other than just, you know, it doesn't look all that great until you get the keyboard open. You know, when you open up the keyboard, that's when you notice, you know, half of your... Uh, letters on the side over there are cut off and not very usable. So we're just scrolling around here. The first thing I'm noticing is I don't have a, an HTC Sense uh, little dock bar down on the bottom and I don't know why. So what I'm going to do is you guys have seen this up front really quickly. Oh, that's cool. Do you see the carousel there? I just flipped through it really fast. And that time I tapped on it rather than flipping fast. So we're just going to flip. And there you go, the carousel where the faster you flip it, the smaller those thumbnails are. And then as it slows down, it brings that thumbnail up nice and close. Really cool. It's kind of like what SPB has done, but uh, in a more user-friendly, more uh, animated way right there on the home screen. So... Let me go ahead and find some cool stuff to show you here. It's looking like we got the stock widgets, uh, you know, some updates here. And no, that's Celsius, guys. I haven't changed it to, to Fahrenheit yet, so it's uh, a bit warmer than 9 degrees. Uh, but anyway, really cool. Um, let me dig into it, and I'll show you the highlights in just a sec. Okay, the next cool thing that I found is the web browser. No, not that that's the cool part, but check this out. I've loaded up the PocketNow website, and this is the mobile version of our website. You guys are all familiar with that, but check this out. See that guy, little uh, little RSS feed guy right there? Yeah, tap on that and check it. We can now add a subscription. I can rename this, which I'd like to rename PocketNow, but P is way over there, so I can't do that. So we're just gonna call it RSS. Put a check mark next to that and we'll go ahead and add that. Now theoretically, if there were a whole bunch of RSS feeds that we had on our page, it would list all of them down there. So we'd be able to see it. Now, it said that the uh, RSS loading was complete and that there are 99 plus items in the feed and that it is loading up right here. So I assume that what this is, is an integrated RSS reader into the web browser. You can go in and, uh, let's see. So just really cool, really quick, you can subscribe to the RSS feed so you don't even have to visit the websites to get the uh, the news. So really kind of cool there. If you like something like the uh, white iPhone 4, go ahead and put a star next to that. Of course, I'm the Android guy, so I can't do that. So we'll uncheck that. Yeah, that was humor, guys, just so you know. But hey, you know, kind of cool. It's even got this lazy load where it'll pull in the most recent ones, and then when you get down to the bottom, it will go out and uh, load the next batch. So very fluid, very nice fits on the screen, all kinds of neat stuff. Now one thing I do want to show you over here, ready? Let's go ahead and go home. And I've got an alternate launcher uh, apparently that came with this or that's uh, being pulled in. So let's use Sense. Now I mentioned to you that I didn't have a, a little bottom uh, app drawer, launcher drawer thing down at the bottom, right? You know the one that has the phone, the customize, and the, uh, the app drawer button on it. It has the nice swoosh style. Well, that's because my screen's not big enough. It's actually right about down here. Let's see if I can scoot this up. So it's down here. If I could tap the screen down there, I could get to it, but I can't. So uh, we're just going to have to live with not being able to launch many of our apps from here. Again, not all that functional, but still kind of cool. So let's dig deeper and see what else we can find. All right, next up, I'm going to show off the uh, the weather widget. But to do that, I want to show you kind of the uh, the HTC 2.1, the Sense 2.1 versus the Sense 3 uh, widget. So you can kind of get a feel for how they're different. So the icons and the way to get to them are the same. So let's go ahead and open them both up. 
Now with HTC Sense UI, you get to pick which type or which style of widget you want. So the traditional one is right here and it looks very nice. It's very well done. There's one of three. There's two of three, a little bit smaller. And there's three of three, very small. I, I believe that's a two by one. So this is the one that I usually select. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see nice animation. It looks really good. Um, it's still measured in uh, Celsius, I believe. So uh, showing you that kind of stuff. Okay. Now over here, you'll notice a, a new kind of full screen, very nice looking widget. Now I'm not going to talk too much about this one first. I want to show you the other two. Let me move that phone out of the way. So we come over here. This is the small one, just like you saw on the uh, the Desire S a moment ago. We go back one. That's the uh, the bigger one, kind of a two by two. And then you've got this new one, and this is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Um, it's just gorgeous. Go ahead and select it, and watch what happens here. Clouds fly out at you. It animates in, you've got the sound effects going along with it, you can see that it's raining in here. Again, this is Celsius degrees, not Fahrenheit degrees, so the weather is actually accurate. Uh, it has detected my location just like you'd expect, so very, very cool. Now, one more cool thing that I want to show you here, and I don't know exactly how to get to it, so let's just kind of stumble through. Let's go into uh, settings, I could have taken a shortcut to personalize, I suppose and lock screen. You see lock screen right here? Now this I would love to show you in a lot of detail but I can't because on this ROM if you apply a lock screen you can no longer boot your phone. Uh, it's very securely locked I guess you could say. I believe that's because the lock button is off the screen so you can't grab it and pull it up to unlock. Now the reason for that is this is a 3D style uh, resolution, if you will. It's made for a QHD screen, which this phone does not have. So what that means is basically it's about the same width, but in aspect ratio, it's going to be longer. Let's see if I can, it's going to be longer so that it has more of a, a widescreen or a letterbox look to it. But let me go ahead and show you what you would have. Now, they've taken kind of widgets and put them onto the lock screen. So you can see down here this little, uh, kind of half circle that's hidden off the bottom of the screen, that's your unlocker, okay? So if you were to grab that, and of course I have to go back into it now, personalize lock screen. So if you grab that little washer there and pull it up, it will have a nice animation and will unlock the screen. There's some videos out on YouTube to show you exactly how that works, um, but it's pretty much like anything else you've seen. You drag it up and it unlocks. There's some nice animations that you'd expect from HTC Sense in there as well. But back to widgets. You can see here this is using their uh, their finance or their stocks widget. So you can turn on your device without unlocking it, have information to uh, or have a, a one glance look at your information. It's updated, it's right there, and it's ready for you. But of course, you may not want stocks. You might want uh, something like just the time in a nice wallpaper that gives you an indicator of how many phone calls you've missed, how many emails you've got waiting, how many text messages you've got waiting as well. Over here, the next one is just photos. So you can have your photo album there and you can see they're kind of floating around here. So I can imagine that being a, a nice uh, floaty 3D animated look into your gallery which might not be a good thing if you have inappropriate pictures in your gallery. Somebody picks up your phone, unlocks it, and yeah, so be smart. Cool little watch widget there. Over here, these are your messages. Again, in that same kind of floating around, um, you know, the cards are in space, showing you the most recent, and then rotating, and then weather, just like we saw. Now, this actually functions exactly like we just saw with the weather widget on your home screen. This time, it's just on the lock screen, so you have that animation right there as well. So, very, very cool. Uh, there are some settings that you can do in here to customize the buttons down at the bottom. Um, all kinds of neat stuff. All right, now this is HTC Sense UI 3D, right? So what does the 3D mean? Well, first of all, this is a 2D phone. One dimension, two dimension. That's all my screen can display. Three dimension means that there would be some depth to what I'm looking at. So here's what they've done with some of the widgets. Now let me show you first with the flip clock. The flip clock, as you've seen before, kind of flips the numbers down. Well, 
it has to flip on some hinges, right? But where are those hinges hiding? So if we rotate, look right up there on the top. Let's see if I can get in there closer for you. Can you see the hinge that it rotates on? You can also see that there's some depth to those cards. You can see that there's three stacked on top of each other, and if I rotate that, it kind of goes away. It kind of goes the other way, where the numbers are sitting on top. So very cool how it's doing that. If I come back over here to my people, look at the Rolodex card up there on the top. See that, how it's sitting up on top of the uh, the rest of the widget. So let's go over here to weather. So here's our weather widget that we just put on. And if we look at that, we've got multiple layers of clouds. We've got the uh, temperature on top of that. And everything is on top of the... Uh, the background of the widget itself so very cool now looking at this just right here it's just spit and polish HTC didn't want to reinvent the Sense UI instead what they wanted to do was improve it so what they've done is they've kept things pretty much the same but they've added in some extra features some extra polish and you know they've just made it look really nice I mean especially when you come in here and do this fast flip where you're going through and it's rotating through in the carousel. Uh, it's just really, really nice. It looks cool. When you add that to the 3D effect and when you add that to a, a high definition or a QHD screen, which is what uh, most of the uh, new phones are going to be coming with, that's my prediction, you get a, you know, a longer screen that's more like you're watching a movie, that's more like a uh, you know, an HD style screen like you have on your TV. So when you're looking at it this way, your video content is going to be more letterbox than it is just in a, a box like that. Uh, so they're doing that across the whole screen. That's nice because anything that you record with your camera or with your video camera is then going to theoretically be high def so it will look wonderful when you watch it on your, uh, your TV. Now, the... HTC Evo 3D even has a micro USB port in it that, with an adapter, will plug into your uh, HDMI port on your big screen TV. And if you've got a compatible TV, it will even charge your phone while you're watching it. So you're not going to have to worry about, uh, you know, I've only got 10% battery life yet. Am I going to be able to watch this whole home video or whatnot? Uh, you'll be able to... Uh, to do that on the newer TVs or with a powered adapter, which I'm sure they're going to come out with first. So all kinds of cool. Now I'm not going to be able to function with this ROM uh, very obviously, and you could see there my uh, my lock screen um, was the old style lock screen, and my backlight's not working entirely right. So I'm going to have to flash this back to something that I can use more regularly. But it's really cool, um, and I'm sure there's going to be updates to it. Now that's the good news. The bad news is. HTC has come out on their Twitter feed and said that they're not going to have Sense 3D retrofit to existing devices. A lot of that is because uh, of screen resolutions, because of extra sensors that are in the newer devices and 3D screens and whatnot. Um, and I don't know so much that I blame them, especially because it's more just polish on the existing Sense UI experience than anything else. But I can see us hopefully being able to, uh, as a developer or a hacker community, get in there and make those fixes so that we can run this on some of our, uh, our unlocked devices. I think it's cool. I don't know. What do you think? And more specifically, I've only had you know a couple hours to go through this and look at it and play with uh, all the uh, the bells and whistles here. So, is there something that I missed? Is there something that you'd like to share with us that you found in Sense UI 3D? If so, that's what the comments are for. Leave them down below. If you like seeing these things, so you don't have to try and flash it on your phone and run into all the problems, of course, give the video a thumbs up and. Head on over to pocketnow.com for that hyperlink if you'd like to try this out on your phone as well. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.